Hello everyone! Welcome to day 13 of my awkward and uncomfortable challenge here on YouTube. And uh, today I guess I just wanted to share a little bit about self-love and self-care. Um, I, um, I learned today, actually on my astrology call, that my, um, if you know about Chiron, they basically call him the wounded healer. And wherever he's placed in your chart, it's basically like where you have the most challenge in your life, but it is also the it is the it is also the challenge that you get to heal a lot of in your in your life and also teach it. So my Chiron was in my second house, which has to do with money, self worth, and um, and all that good stuff. So I learned today that about you know the whole self-worth thing it was def it's definitely something from childhood and um they also said that too so she also said that the chiron is mostly about the things that we had challenge we had challenge already even since childhood and like um there's probably for example if you have chiron in your second house as well but i mean my my second house is in cancer um, so, you know, it has to do with the nurturer and, and really, oh, and also the second house is very like motherly and stuff like that, like about mother. And, um, so for example, she gave me, the example that she gave me was that, you know, in childhood were, you know, were you, were you always like, were you always looking to prove yourself as worthy and, um, possibly in, possibly in your childhood, your family, um, treated you and said things or whatever unconsciously, you know, programming all the traumas that we get from childhood. Every, every family has trauma. And one of mine is not being worthy or good enough. So um, I wanted to talk a, a little bit about that on here. Um, it's very quick. It's just one of my one of my tips that um, I actually started recently doing in my life for the past month, I want to say, and it's been really helping me with my unworthiness wound and not being good enough and stuff like that. So my tip is, is that I put an alarm on my phone for every single day and I put it at three times a day. Now, I know that's a lot of alarms, um, so maybe you can do two or maybe you can start with just one. But I do it three times a day because sometimes it goes off and then I'm doing something or I'm working and I'm not able to. So the second one reminds me or and the third one reminds me. Or if I'm able to do all three, even better for me. Um, so I guess, um, so the alarms, I title them for myself, I love you. And basically they're my reminders for the day to give myself some love. And what I do is... I go into my bedroom or if I'm alone already or anything like that I just literally hug myself and um, I close my eyes and I just start visualizing like the inner child my inner teenager the younger versions of me the all parts of me all in integrated parts of me right and I just tell them I love you I tell them how worthy they are um, of everything that they desire they're worthy of love they're worthy of acceptance they're worthy of compassion and I tell myself that as well. And it's just it's just one of those moments that literally it only takes not even it's probably it's probably in less than a minute. But it's those moments in my day that really make a difference in how I feel for myself, on how I speak to myself, um, reminding myself that I am worthy of love and my love, like not my partner's love, not my family's love, not my siblings' love, not my mom or dad's love. No, 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 no. Like none of their love, um, which is awesome to get. You know, of course, it's it's amazing to get unconditional love from another person, from the person that you love as well. But the most important love and the most important person that we need to love and be in love with and accept and give compassion to is ourselves. So that reminder to me every single day i put those alarms and they go off and they're really loud and everything and and sometimes they could be at the wrong times but not the wrong times but just go off at like the times that you you're just so distracted or very focused in doing work or something else um but it doesn't matter it's it's those moments that just reminds you of like let me give myself a little love it literally takes just a couple of seconds not even maybe just like like not even, you know what I mean? Not even just a minute, like just a couple of seconds. And it's just, it's it feels so good and it makes a difference in my day. 
I'm not trying to get love externally, you know, um, especially if you have anxious attachment wound, which I do, um, and relationships and stuff like that. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to search, seek love from my partner or from others outside of me. I am seeking it for myself within myself. And, um, and that's just very fulfilling. So that's my, that's my share for today. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that, you know, that you're going to try. Let me know if this is a practice, like if you do practice it, like maybe put in the comments like day one, it felt, it felt so amazing. Day two, it felt so fulfilling. Day three, uh, I'm seeing a change in myself. You know, it would be really amazing if you guys share that, especially for others to see. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, talk to you soon.